the final goal is to eradicate humanity as we know it. Once you understand the final destination, it becomes much easier to look back and identify the psychological conditioning, the biological tampering, the cultural grooming and the educational prepping that we have been subjected to for decades in preparation to making us accept a post-human future. It takes a lot of physical and psychological abuse to get an intelligent species like ours to agree to its own extinction. Most, if not all, that has transcended in the last 60 years was designed to get us closer to accepting such a dystopian reality. Whether you care to accept it or not, we live in a hyper-controlled matrix where our perception of reality is meticulously planned, managed, and executed in order to control and steer us in whichever direction they wish. And the direction is a post-human world. For this, they first needed to destabilize, dehumanize, and demoralize humanity through every means possible. The destruction of the nuclear family, children being indoctrinated by the state, abortion, the eradication of God and spirituality from education, life in mega cities and away from nature, toxic food, air and water, social media, replacing real human connection and interaction, engineered financial crisis and taxation, endless wars and massive migration, stress, anxiety, depression, drugs and alcohol, constant fear-mongering, moral relativism as the new religion, and I could go on and on about how humanity has been influenced and forced to move away from all the things that give us strength, security, purpose, and meaning. A weak, immoral, disconnected, ignorant, and unhealthy population is an easy target for the next stage, the creation of an entire generation of androgynous beings. Masculinity is under attack psychologically, culturally, and biologically. Women are being replaced in sports, entertainment, and politics by men pretending to be women. And children are being indoctrinated at school to think that gender is a choice. The transgender movement is not a grassroots movement. It comes from the top. It has nothing to do with people's freedom of expression, sexuality, or civil rights. It's an evil psyop to, with a clear agenda to get us closer to transhumanism by making us question the most fundamental notion of human identity, our gender. If you don't know who you are, if you already identify as a hybrid between a man and a woman, you will be easily convinced to become a hybrid between human and machine. Gender ideology is the two plus two equals five from George Orwell's 1984 dystopian novel. It's the final test to see whether we will follow the most absurd party line towards our own extinction. But two plus two equals four. And no matter how you choose to dress, call yourself, or change your physique, will not change that. The sad reality, though, is that in the gaslighting process to get us closer to a post-human future, they have mentally and physically harmed an increasing number of children and young people. And it's only getting worse. This must be stopped.